All right, so continuing some of those feet and ankle mobility drills we can do to improve our dorsiflexion, which is so responsible for literally accessing back part of our body, our posterior chain, particularly the glutes, the hamstrings, okay, and then important or in, I guess, transitions such as sprints, lunges, and stuff like that. You gotta get really good mobility of that said dorsiflexion. What happens to a lot of people is they get very poor mobility, range of motion, or activation of those areas. So it has to come down to you literally breaking down where that dysfunction is coming from and including exercises as part of a comprehensive warm-up strategy or a comprehensive rehab program. So that's essentially what I'm going through too. So continuing that strategy, here's an exercise we can do where we're earning some form of understanding of weight distribution, particularly on this planted leg, this hip, the sitting in the profiles of the muscle loading as opposed to having that extreme bias of that said position, locking our legs out or locking our limbs out and having to rely on joint stability. In the context of movement, it's not very stable. So if I train myself to actually load the right comprehensive position, ankle joint, knee joint, hip joint, kick up to the side, my pelvis is underneath me, now I have more control. And if I have any type of change of direction, I'm still loaded or stable on this position as opposed to being here, having the foot turn out and really reacting with no balance. So adding that component, what I want to get in the habit of doing now is when I go to reach forward, I'm going to grab this towel by using my toes and really earning some type of toe mobility or toe extension or toe contraction in this case. As I come back, I'll pick that towel up, drop it. I'm going to try to grab it again, trying to lift my toes up as high as I can, squeeze it again, and I will drop it back in front. I want to get my upper body engaging when I'm doing this said movement. This kind of tackles two things all in once, particularly again, learning how to load or keep stable on one particular leg in the context of changing direction and start working those dorsiflexion angles in this ankle joint and the ability to articulate or use our toes a little bit better in respects to contraction, extension, dorsiflexion, all those things all in one. So it's a good exercise again to rehab the toes, the ankles, and start working on some core control and some stability and balance. I don't need a lot of repetitions. This is literally just for rehab purposes. So I can get like five or seven reps per side and then I would switch sides. So again, more of that comprehensive rehab or corrective exercise strategy to improve dorsiflexion. It's gonna allow us to properly disperse weight as we're grabbing levels and exercises and moving with intent.